my my thoughts on Exodus are for me Exodus is more long term, and okay. Exodus is more security. Okay, the mm -hmm. regular the regular trading is on Binance, so mm -hmm. Exodus gives you a really great printout, and this is good because we're going to be talking about taxes. So most of them will give you a printout or export the data into an Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And the data gets, you can sort it by columns and, you know, date and stuff like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so there's a number of different things you can do for tax purposes. You can just give the data to your accountant. That's one option. Mm -hmm. Another option is you can do it all manually yourself. Mm -hmm. And another option is you can use a software that will take the data and spit it into a tax understandable format. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm going to go through that um, right now. So, so basically, I, you mean like Tracer or Exodus Wallet? This is something that we don't touch much. We're just keeping it as a safety and whatever. Yeah. But then again, so another question up there with that, that considering taxes as well, if we won't touch it and it's there for like two, three years, do we have to claim that we may? No. Mm -hmm. Up until no. we're taking it out, yeah. we're not claiming anything. Okay. That's right. That's the best way. That's the easiest way. Some accountants and some people might tell you, no, you have to, but a, a taxable event, that, that's when you have to report taxes, is when there is a taxable mm -hmm. event. And a taxable event is basically profit, right? The government okay. is, is like, uh, you know, uh, the government is a tax man. They want a piece of every profit that you make, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're entitled mm -hmm. to the piece of every profit that you make. So a taxable event is a profit or you could call it a disposition. Okay. All right, so yeah, for long-term, like Trezor and Exodus, long-term, I would leave it for safety, for security, and for long-term. Okay. Like, let's say you bought a Bitcoin, and you and you think, like, I know a client who, who says, I have two Bitcoin, I'm gonna leave it for five years, and just forget about it for five years. So she has mm -hmm. it on her Trezor, she's gonna leave it there for five years. She, she locks it in okay. a safe, and she doesn't care what happens, because she knows you know, in five years, it's going to be pretty amazing, probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So let me share my screen, and mm -hmm. we'll go over some different uh, tax information. So the first one I'm going to share is the Government of Canada website. Right now, many of us are Canadians. We're in this program. In the future, people may be watching this. They're American. So I'm going to go through some American and some Canadian tax laws, which are mostly the same, by the way. Okay? okay. So this is a government of Canada website, Canada.ca. You could search or you could search online. I simply found this by Googling it just on Google. So this is from the Canada Revenue Agency, which is like the IRS, right, for Canada. So they have, they have this guide here, which you can go through, and I'm, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it is all right here. Now, okay. because it's a government website, it's a little bit difficult to understand, right? There's some jargon and some terms that are, you know, just, they don't, they think they make this for people to understand, but they don't really make this for people to understand. But anyway, it's great that they've got this. This is huge progress. You know, it's 2020. They've never had this before. This is great progress. Thank you, Canadian government. Okay. Now there's a simplified version from this exchange here, which a lot of us use, which a lot of us, we, we use and we like this uh, Canadian exchange right here, Bitbuy. So they have on their website, you can find it on their website, uh, the uh, cryptocurrency tax guide for 2020. So what they did is they basically took the, you know, language on the government website here and they made it user friendly, simplified for their customers. So this, this is probably going to be an easier, better read for all of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so you can go through this and I'll have the link below. And um, it's, it's very, very simple. And America is very uh, similar. Okay, so here's a little bit of American tax laws. So they use words like, you know, the IRS, right? So that's US. Okay, so it's a little different, but it's mostly similar. Um, 
it's a little different, but it's mostly similar. Okay, so here's a great, uh, this is a fantastic website, investopedia.com. So they have an article on taxes on Bitcoin. All right, so this is general tax guidance and tax uh, advice. Now, I mentioned to Kasha that there's three different ways to um, file your taxes and you know tax yourself uh, with with crypto and with Bitcoin. Okay, so now that you have this information, whether you're U.S. and Canada, um, oh by the way, here's a lawyer who says here's how you can minimize your uh, cryptocurrency taxes. This could be a good article to read. It's from a lawyer. You know, he's promoting himself, but you know, he's a lawyer and he knows uh, what he's what he's talking about, right? So this could be good as well. Now, I mentioned to Kasha that there's three different ways to work your taxes on um, your cryptocurrency. Okay, so the first way is when you uh, um, export or you know, print out your data uh, from oops, from the exchanges, okay, and you basically give it to your accountant, okay. So you can either give it to your accountant or your bookkeeper. And some accountants just say, "Yeah, send it to me," you know, and they do it all. They do all the calculations and everything. You don't have to worry about it, okay. Maybe they charge you extra. Um, you know, I, I don't know, maybe they charge you extra, maybe they don't, some do, some don't, okay, but they know what to do, and they'll take care of it. The second way is that you do it manually, and for some people, maybe you do your taxes manually, because they have these, you know, TurboTax software, and quick, easy tax software, 100 bucks, and you can do your whole family, and your friends, and whatever, right, so you do it manually. This is you entering it in, all that stuff yourself, which is pretty easy to do. So in the same case, you're going to export or print out your data from the exchange. And you're going to use the spreadsheet I gave you. That's another option, um, the trading tracker. Okay. And you're basically going to use that information to make your tax reports yourself. This is a little more technical. This is a little more difficult, okay? And the last option is there is now a crypto tax software, which does it for you. And I'm gonna show you one in a minute. Okay, so because crypto is kind of a more technological and complex thing, uh, they've come out with this service. They've come out with this option. Of course, you pay a little bit, you pay for the software, the service, and they do it for you, okay? So, I'm going to show you one that I, I found. I did some research, and I highly recommend this one because I, I did some research. Uh, you know, Kasha asked this question about four days ago or so, and I did some research, and I found this one. I mean, this is the one I recommend. It's called tri uh, sorry, Crypto Trader. Okay, so they, they also have a guide, but I'm just going to show you the website. You can literally get your uh, crypto tax. Uh, done in minutes. It's true. It's, it's really true. It's legitimate. I checked it out. It's it's very simple and easy to do. Now, a small, small, small amount of technical require, uh, knowledge is required. Okay, And they walk you through how to do this on this website. They walk you through how to do this. So you import your trades. They in, you import your data, which means you give it to them, right? Where you basically, you know, export, import, right? Just like goods in a country. So you export it, which means basically print it out, and then imp they import it, which means you know you give it to them. So they take it. And they do it automatically using an API tool, which is a software you know, jargon for um, something like automated permission integration. So it's a little technical, but every exchange, most, most exchanges have a API. So, so Binance, which is where we use um, most of our, this is where we do a lot of our trading in this course. Binance has an API feature automatically there. They're very, very smart. So once you log into your account, you're going to um, go to your account and it's going to say, you know, settings. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to log in here, but 
that's too many. Okay, so when you log into your account, it's going to have a section called settings or API. And the API is super simple and easy. It's basically a code. Okay, your code looks like this. It's called the API key. And it's like, it's going to look like this. It's not going to make any sense to you. Okay, <laughs> that's the key. You're going to basically copy this and paste it into uh, this website. So it says import your trades using the API import tool or upload whoops, your trade history file. So you know how I said you can export? Uh, you can export. This is where if you do it manually, you will export your data and then import it in here. All right, so they have all the major exchanges. I've already checked. They have Binance, they have Bittrex, they have Bitmex, they have HitBTC, they have all these great exchanges. And they literally make it quick and painless and easy. Okay, and they have a video. Uh, where is it? You can watch a video. How to do it? You know, it takes you a few minutes to watch the video. Super duper simple. It's a nice video. You get the idea, right? It's very very simple. All you do is import either your data manually, which comes out in an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, and it'll have all this data right here, date time, uh, coin, uh, price bought, price sold, quantity, total, all this stuff. It'll be right here. And the other option is to just give them your API key. And they do all the information. So this is what it looks like. So you have a couple of different keys. They walk you through how to do it. Look, here's Binance, here's Coinbase, right? And you enter the keys and then it imports your trades. You do not have to worry about them stealing your crypto. That, that cannot happen. You do not have to worry about them stealing your crypto. You don't have to worry about any security. Binance is the largest um, trading exchange on the world. Oh, look, they even have one for Exodus. Amazing. Look at that. So, so you were asking about Exodus as well. So I don't recommend making trades inside of Exodus, but in case you did, or in case you do, they can even do it with Exodus. So you click the uh, exchange you're using, and they have a guide. They have a uh, support on how to do it. Super simple and easy. Okay. So um, you import it, and then they do the work for you. They have a, a file, a tax file for you, a form that you can uh, complete through them, TurboTax, right? Um, and and it's, it's basically done. And you can integrate with all these different things. They have support if you're international. Um, and they have these nice reviews here, which is awesome. I, I checked this site. I like it. I don't use it because I know how to use it uh, myself manually. Okay. And the trading tracker that I uh, gave to you. There's module two. Yeah, so the trading tracker that I gave to you basically has everything you need if you were to do it manually, all right? Um, let's see, because you're, you're basically going to enter in how much money you made. If you're doing it manually, it's that simple. How much profit you made, okay? It's, it's really that simple. So those are your options. Manually do it yourself or give it to your accountant or you use a software such as this one, which I like. CryptoTrader.tax, and it's very simple. They'll walk you through it. Um, they have support for you. There's videos on how to do it. Let's look at the pricing. Forty-nine bucks. That's not so bad. Look at that. Or if you're a professional day trader, a hundred bucks. That's amazing for a, a day trader. Live chat support. The forms. I mean, you're probably going to pay this to your accountant anyway. All right. So remember that. Uh, taxable event is a disposition oh look they even have a money back guarantee fantastic and they it's funny your accountant may actually use this because <laughs> look they use it for accountants and tax professionals so they have a money uh, back guarantee full support and remember that a taxable event only happens when there's basically profit right um can i Try it before paying. Look at that. You can use it for free. Well, you have nothing to lose. Pay with Visa or MasterCard. 
so you could even google if you're you're not you're not going to get stuck but you could google api key binance check this out how to create an api on binance they walk you through how to do that um, i'm sure there's videos as well you can watch look at that binance how do i find my api key on binance super simple and easy and then let's say you want to uh, export trades from um, bitbuy and this one you know bitbuy is canadian so they might be outranked so they're so I'll go to Bitbuy, their website. Who am I kidding? It's in the guide. Look at this. What do they say? Look at that taxable gain. Boom. You have a realized taxable capital gain. So if you're familiar with trading stocks, this works the same to trading stocks. It works the same way. Trading stocks uh, is, is in, in Canada just like uh, trading crypto and the taxes are exactly the same. Okay, here we go, Bitbuy reports. So how to do it with Bitbuy, how you can generate and download detailed reports through Bitbuy. Log in, end of year, they have an end of year report. Look how amazing is that? Simply click download and the CSV download will prompt. So that's it, this is super simple, all right? I just gave you a bunch of resources, this should do it. But um, Kasha is with us now, she asked the question. So if you have any more questions about this Kasha, then let me know and I can answer. No, it's okay. Thank you. It's really good information. Awesome. Um, yeah, there's a so, bunch of great uh, do you use Do you use mostly Bitbuy? Do you use Coinbase as well or just Bitbuy for now? I personally use different exchanges. I have Coinbase, I have Exodus, I have Bitbuy, I have uh, Binance, and okay. I even have a couple other ones. But my main ones I use are those four. But okay. like I said, for you guys trading, I always do most of my trading in Binance and we will be doing mm -hmm. the same. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah.